Statistics is the branch of mathematics that deals with the collection, organisation, analysis and interpretation of numerical data. Statistics allows us to make sense of large amounts of data so we can understand it, see trends and make informed decisions. Think about an area you might like to research for yourself. Can you think what data you might need to collect to find out what you want to know? You can use something called the data handling cycle to plan any investigation. This has four stages. Design and plan how you will go about it. Collect the data. Process and represent it. And interpret and discuss your findings. Data can be collected from many sources. A survey, for example, in which questions may be posed to everyone or just to a sample of the population. Experiments are another source of data, such as observations in science or geography. The data is recorded on a data collection sheet in the form of a grid, chart or table. Types of data can be categorised. Primary data is that which you collect yourself. Secondary data is that which someone else has collected. You must also be aware of discrete, continuous and qualitative data. Discrete data can only be of particular values, each of which can be counted up. Continuous data can take any value within a range and can be measured on a scale. Qualitative data is descriptive in nature. It tells us a lot, but is not a numerical measurement of anything. In research projects, we often need to gather data for just a sample of a whole group. Remember, the larger your sample, the more accurate your data will be in representing the whole. A systematic sample is where every nth term from a list is chosen. In a stratified sample, everything is put into groups and then samples are taken from each group. Why do you think this might give a more accurate understanding of the data? To interpret our data, we can use averages to represent it and to dis help us discover trends. Averages can be represented in a variety of ways, giving us useful tools for data analysis. You probably have heard of these types already. The mean, mode and median. The mean of a set of values is the sum of those values divided by the number of pieces of data. The mode is the piece of data that appears most often. Large amounts of data can be recorded onto a tally chart, which allows the mode to be easily spotted. The median is the middle value when the data is written in numerical order, usually from smallest to largest. The range is the largest value minus the smallest value. It shows how wide the data is spread. If the range is large, this can change the mean significantly. In some data, we might find abnormalities. These are known as outliers. An outlier is an extreme data value that does not fit the overall pattern. The outlier goes against the trend of the data. Once data is collected, it is often represented visually in a variety of ways to help us to analyse and interpret it. Always be careful to select the most appropriate method to display your data. Some methods can misinterpret your data or be misleading. Have a look at the following examples. How would you interpret these? 